Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Vanessa Nessa and today I'm going to show you how to make sweet homemade almond milk in a juicer. But first, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. I'm going to be using a masticating juicer to make the almond milk. With a masticating juicer, you can make a variety of nut milks, nut butters, and a variety of other things. With this type of blade, which is from a central people juicer, you can't make nut milks or nut butters because you will break your juicer. I'll make another video with the differences between a central people juicer and a masticating juicer. So let's get into it. So what you're going to need are raw almonds. I'm using 14 ounces. And then you're going to take fresh water and pour it over the almonds. And then you're gonna add in dates. I initially put in four, but I went back and put in a few more because I like mine extra sweet. Then you're gonna let it sit for a minimum of 12 hours or overnight. I let these almonds and dates soak overnight, so we're gonna pour this water off and fresh water off. Make sure your dates are pitted before you start, even if you bought the ones that say pitted dates, because if you put those dates in there and the pits are in them, it'll crack and break the juicer. Trust, it's happened to me. This is my old juice screen that got cracked from dates I purchased that were supposed to be pitted. I'm gonna be using a measuring cup to scoop the contents up and put them through the juicer, but you could use a spoon as well. This is about two cups of water I put in here. But just like my other video with the yogurt, you put as much water for the consistency that you like it. If you like your milk more on the fuller, thicker side, like whole milk, put less water. If you like it on the thinner side, like 2% or skim milk, then put more water. And as you're putting it through there, you can kind of eyeball it to see how thick it really is. So like if you're finding that it's really uh, if you're finding that it's really thin, just try to scoop up less water when you scoop the contents up, or if you get a lot of water in there, just kind of like force them out. make sure my milk is really smooth so I strain it twice. You can store the milk in a mason jar or any airtight container that you have. 
it will stay good for about a week. If you want to keep it fresher longer, just pop it in the freezer while it's still fresh and then take it out when you want to thaw it out. You can also repurpose this pulp from the almond milk. You can make granola with it, sprinkle it on top of cereal, make cookies with it, a numerous amount of things. I'll leave a link in the description box for this juicer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below.